Thank you, Kelly. Well, we don't always think about exotic animals such as reptiles or birds as pets, but they can be a perfect fit for many families. Here to tell us more about one of these animals is Dr. Christina Miliaresis with Surf Paws Animal Hospital. Good morning. Welcome back. Good morning. Tell us who you brought today. So this is Dottie. She's a female California desert tortoise. Mm -hmm. And she is around 10 years old. We don't know for sure. And um, she, the important things for her are that um, diet for tortoises is very important. They need to have a lot of grass and a variety of um, vegetation to eat. They like hibiscus flowers. Mm -hmm. They need a lar large space to move around and grow. And these guys are quite a commitment because they do live quite a long time. How long do they live? <laughs> In captivity, they can live 60 to 80 years. Wow. So, yeah, they're that is interesting. That a long time. And tortoises, we know they can move, but this one, it <laughs> seems like she active. just won't stop. Yeah. Is this normal or each tortoise is different? Each tortoise is pretty different. And she's pretty active and pretty happy to be a here, I think. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> and her name is Dottie. Yes, this okay. is Dottie. And then how do you know if they're sick and need to go to the veterinarian? Because they do live long, but I know that tortoises can develop diseases. They can, and it's a little bit more tricky than a cat or a dog or another kind of animal to tell. Um, they c oftentimes can get upper respiratory tract diseases. Uh, they can get injuries. Uh, definitely, if you have other pets, they have to be um, get used to having another animal like this in the house so they don't get hurt. And um, ways to know if they're sick, uh, if they're not eating well, if they're sluggish, uh, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes discharge from the nose. And um, we're really lucky at Surf Paws because up until now we did not have an exotic veterinarian. And Dr. Joe Herzog is going to be joining us at uh, the end of the month, and he sees all kinds of animals. So we're excited about that. What about for families who already have pets, such as a dog or mm -hmm. a cat? How can they incorporate something like a tortoise into their home? The most important thing is to start off slowly, make sure that they can see each other and smell each other, mm -hmm. but not um, have unsupervised time together. And an enclosure for these kind of animals is really important that uh, the, the dogs or cats can't get into so that they, they have their space and uh, just slowly doing it. Yeah. Our producer Lance, um, he loves tortoises, so he's <laughs> already asking in my ear. Can, like other pets, can they recognize you? And you know, is it similar to that where they'll follow you? Yes, it yeah. is. Okay. <laughs> and then, can you just go out to any pet store and get a tortoise? Um, like? No, in Hawaii, it's a little more difficult probably to find them. I know that they have been at shelters at times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people find them just like she was found. Right. Um, but sometimes the pet stores will bring them in. So you just have to kind of ask around or look around for them. Okay. And then, yeah. like, tor will, you know, I'm not going to put my finger there, but can they bite or? A uh, certain kind can. She's pretty friendly. You can pet her on her head. And she won't. Okay, <laughs> she okay. won't do anything. And it just feels a little, a little dry and bumpy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cute little dotty. And I didn't know that they were so active. And just, she'll just keep going, <laughs> right? All right. Thank you so much, Doctor and Dottie, for being here. I don't. I think she wants to. So yeah. we just pick her up. Oh, she is a little bit heavy, though. Yeah. So they can get really big. Yeah, they can. Oh. All right, Dottie. I don't think she likes to be put. Okay, let's go this way, Dottie. All right. Thank you, Doctor. We'll keep an eye on her. We'll